Visiting Khao Yai National Park was one of the first things I did after spending a few days in Bangkok. To get there, I took a bus north to the town of Pak Chong, which only took about two and a half hours. I stayed at a small hostel and booked a guided tour which would drive me through the park along with a handful of others in a vehicle known as a Song Tao. A Song Tao is basically a pickup truck that has covered bench seats in the back. There's also other tours that take you in larger vehicles, but this one was a better option in my opinion. We saw a lot of really interesting wildlife on this tour, and that's mostly what I'm going to highlight in the rest of this video. This species we call the pigtail macaque. The big tail, the big tail macaque, the, the male, the big one, and female, and female a little bit. Sometimes male, female, same here, the male. Sometimes male, female, same side. You see the bottom. The color, the bottom tell you, know, female, the male, the brown color. The male, the brown color. The female, the red color. Uh, monkey, big family. One family about twenty monkey to about hundred monkey. So they insisted that we wear these gaiters to protect our legs from leeches and other insects as we were planning to go on a guided hike in the jungle later that day. In this clip we had pulled over on the side of the road as the guide had spotted a great hornbill bird. The guide was kind enough to snap photos of various animals through his scope throughout the day. Here's a photo of the male hornbill that we saw. It's waiting patiently outside the nest with a piece of fruit to give to its female counterpart which is inside the tree incubating their eggs. I put some more information on the great hornbill in the video description if you're interested. We made a quick stop at the visitor center to eat lunch and learn more about the park. I was excited to find out that Khao Yai is a sister park to Great Smoky Mountains National Park in my home state of Tennessee in the United States. This park can be explored on your own and I know several backpackers that decided to go that route but there are many hazards in this park that you should be aware of including some potentially dangerous wildlife such as the Asiatic sun bear, wild elephants, and although extremely rare, Indo-Chinese tigers are also present in the park. After our quick stop at the visitor center, the guide took us on a short hike through the forest. This tree we call the cinnamon tree. Do you know the cinnamon? Mm -hmm. mm. Cinnamon means purple mostly for the deep tree. Right. Yeah, yeah, not too far. Yeah. Just this one? Yeah. Excuse me, you want to take a photo with the big tree? One of the main animals we were looking for on this hike were wild gibbons. Because gibbons don't have a tail, they are classified as an ape. One might mistakenly call them a monkey, but they are indeed apes. Gibbons are often kept in captivity, so it was really cool seeing them swinging free in the wild. You take a photo, not yet, you take a photo. Ha, ha, ha.
Dump, 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 dump. The next stop on our tour was Hugh Sawat Waterfall, and hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. This waterfall was made famous by the film The Beach, starring a young Leonardo DiCaprio, and it was directed by Danny Boyle and released in the year 2000. Unfortunately, there is no swimming or cliff jumping allowed here. Way back to Pak Chong, we were very lucky to spot some wild elephants. Khao Yai is home to about 300 wild elephants and is renowned as one of the best places to see wild elephants in Thailand.
This was the icing on the cake for the whole tour, as there's really no guarantee that you're going to be able to see any elephants. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.